You may see them hanging on walls at work, in school, or maybe even have one at home. Automatic external defibrillators help save hundreds of thousands of people each year in situations where every single second counts. As News 13's Alex Thorson tells us tonight, a local man wouldn't have lived without teamwork and that life-saving machine. Deliver shock now. You never know. I heard a hard hat hit the floor. When someone will desperately need your help. Graham was laying on the floor underneath the stall, so I pulled him out. Travis Underwood ran to help their Berg Steel Pipe co-worker, who goes by Graham. I'm seeing a guy turn purple and stop breathing. And called 911. It was 15 minutes into Torold May's first day at his new job. I didn't even think twice about it. He began CPR. Something was really wrong. Giving CPR and calling 911 were the right first steps. We all kind of just were standing there like, what do we do next? But what they really Our needed was the AED. AEDs, or automatic external defibrillators, send electric shocks to the heart to restore a natural rhythm. One of Graham's arteries was 40% blocked, and another blocked completely. The second time when he shocked, he came back to us. Everything started coming back. He started reacting to us real well. If an AED and bystander CPR are done, the chances of that survival are doubled, rather than waiting for 911 to arrive for the scene to do CPR. Berg pipe employees say they're now going to put an AED at every workstation. In Panama City, Alex Thorson, News 13. Berg Steel pipe employees will now go through CPR and AED training once a year instead of every two years.